It's time for another Wildcat All In, and today's guest is Billy Hatch from the Weber State Cross Country and Track and Field Teams. Billy, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having <laughs> we're, me. We're glad to get to know you a little bit more, and you have been making all kinds of performances and honors and records. You've been to multiple NCAA championships and Big Sky titles and so forth, and we'll get to talk about some of that. But I want to get to know you a little bit more. You grew up in Preston, Idaho. Yes, I did. Preston, yeah. Idaho, I guess, is known largely for Napoleon Dynamite, yes, right? Yes, that is. <laughs> but what else did you like about growing up in Preston? Um, I like the small town. Um, I grew up not only in Preston, Idaho, it was throughout southeastern Idaho. So I moved around as a kid, but that's where I ended up for high school. And I really enjoyed just the small town, the small school. So. Yeah. So uh, when you were younger, did you, did, you, did you run at all? Did you want to get into running? When did that start? Um, it started my freshman year of high school. Okay. My sister was in cross country. My parents told me, you have to do a sport. And I wanted to do basketball, and they said, you have to do something in the fall. And so I couldn't do track, I mean, I couldn't do soccer or um, volleyball. So I was like, I guess cross country is for me. And I was only going to use it for um, just getting ready for basketball. And then I just fell in love with it, and I didn't even try out for basketball that year. I ran track, and then I just did cross country and track throughout high school. So you have your parents to thank for be why you're here, so. right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Among other reasons, but that's one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is it that you love about cross, about distance running? Because it's tough. Those are long, grueling races. What is it that you love about it? Um, I love that so much can go wrong in a distance race. Like, it's not ten seconds, or you know, it's minutes on minutes, and a lot of can go wrong, and you kind of have to stay mentally engaged, and you're physically you have to be there physically to compete well as well. So. so you said mentally, what do you think about when you're having these races that can last 20, 30 minutes sometimes? Oh, <laughs> you can think about so much. Um, I try to at least stay on like running topic, like hitting splits, staying with people, um, listening to my coaches and like just running, but your mind can definitely wander <laughs> while you're racing. I'm sure, I'm sure it does. How much do you, you, you especially these cross country rates is a go-to, people are just yelling, they're yelling times out, they're yelling all kinds of things. Do you, do you hear that? Do you hear those things? Yeah, and one of my favorite things to do is like coaches will say like, oh, like to their athlete, go with that person. I'm like, yeah, I should go with that person. And like, it might not be my coach, but whatever they say, I'm like, oh, that's good <laughs> advice. Like, I'll take that too. And um, like, I just turn everything to like, oh, they're talking to me. So, there you go. Yeah. How many uh, miles or do you run maybe on an average week? Or maybe there's not such a thing as an average week, but how often, how much do you run? Um, right now I'm at 80 miles a week. Wow. So that's kind of like where I like it um, during just base training and then in between racing. Mm. Even in the out. cold weather, yeah, you get out there. Yeah, even in the cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive. Well, you obviously have gained a, a love of running, haven't you? That's for sure. You, like I said, you've been to several NCAA championships and won multiple Big Sky titles. Does there, is there a couple races or memorable moments that stand out to you? Uh, yeah. Um, like we talked before, the Cross Country Nationals in 2021, that one was really memorable. It was my last cross country race. I haven't had eligibility since. So um, that was memorable. It was my first time to a Division I um, championship. So I enjoyed that. And it was in Florida. So all yeah. like, it's even yeah. better. And then I think for indoor track, conference last year was really memorable getting the 5k and 3k mm -hmm. titles it was really fun and having just the team there um, during indoor you travel a lot with just a small group and at conference everyone's there so yeah. that's exciting and what's that like though you, you run the the was it the 5k first and then and one day and the 3k the next day yeah. back to back days what's that like um, it can be challenging but in championship races like that you're not going for times um, you're going for places mm -hmm. so um, a lot of the girls don't go out super fast and it turns into more of the end of the race race instead of from start to finish. Yeah, interesting. You know, we, we talked a little bit also about your journey here. Uh, you, you attended Dixie State, Utah Tech now uh, for three years, and then you ended up here in 2020. How did you, how did you get to Weber State? Uh, my coach at Utah Tech, Dixie State, um, he encouraged me to go at least use my extra year that I had at that time. I did get that second year because of mm -hmm. COVID. So, um, I just had that encouragement to go get my master's and Weber State's closer to home than St. George was. So that's how I ended up here. Yeah. And obviously, especially distance running, Weber State has a strong tradition. Yes. Yeah. They have some great athletes and yeah. even past collegiately, they mm -hmm. get some really good marks for sure. other distances. You're, and you're right there. So not only have you been racing and running, but you've been in school 
a lot of school and a couple degrees here you're working on. Tell us your, your degrees and what you almost have accomplished here. Yeah, so here at Weber State, I've gotten my master's in criminal justice and I'm working on my master's in professional communication. And yeah, it's been interesting because I came in with a bachelor's in criminal justice and then um, I kind of made that switch to communication yeah. just with some encouragement from coworkers and stuff. You can have two, to, two master's degrees though. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat. <laughs> well, you've earned that. It's a lot of hard work. What do you think after, after you're done with, with school here, what do you think your plans are for running and maybe professionally too? Yeah. Um, I think for running, I do want to try um, for the marathon, the Olympic trials. I think I can get when I try it, but um, that's what I want to do maybe for the next year is just really focus on professional running, see where I can make it and if I can make it. And then after that, I'm not 100% sure yet what I want to do with my degrees, but I've got some ideas. And you have a couple degrees to choose from, so yes. you got some yeah. options. That's always <laughs> good, you. right? Okay, just a couple other questions to get to know you a little bit more. What's your favorite food? Do you have a favorite food? Um, right now, it's probably breakfast, so like hash browns, eggs, sausage, pancakes, anything breakfast related. Okay, so as far as eating and distance running, is there a conflict there? Are you okay to eat because you run so much? Yeah, or? I mean, I eat a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you can ask anyone I eat so much, but um, yeah, I don't think, as long as you're eating in moderation, there's no okay. problem there. So yeah, you can start off with a good healthy breakfast yes, then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, do you have a, well, while we're talking about some desserts, how about a favorite ice cream flavor? Um, probably just vanilla. Vanilla. Really a couple like have said vanilla. that. Just yeah. plain old vanilla. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you have a dream vacation, a place you've never been you'd love to go? No. Okay. I never thought about that. Maybe like Alaska. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. Well, Billy, it's been fun to watch you, obviously, uh, competing in the, the performances that you're making. And look forward to the rest of the indoor season and the outdoor season this year as well. And, and thanks for your time at Weber State. Yeah, thank you. Go Wildcats. Go wild <laughs>